okay so here so here what i am doing here so uh, so today uh, now i have one more topic i am going to explain is the so scott scott administration okay small topic this is also scott administration so it kind of scott transaction code email email configurations email email configurations email configuration i am explaining here email configuration so email configuration means so if you see here in the so sometimes as soon as the transaction is completed so sometimes we may get the emails right with the attachments we will get the emails here so those things we can see it in the scott transaction code here scott so those things we can see it in the scott transaction code here here we can monitor the outbound messages and inbound messages here which are coming inside of the sap system which are going outside of the system system generated emails sometimes when you when you when you book the order so you will see the transaction you will see the your transaction with all the details with the pdf with the with attachment you will get the transaction to your email id right so how you will get the transaction you are doing the transaction you will get the email attachment to the your gmail id or what you are getting here here we can see here we can see we can monitor it here here we can monitor it here the transaction we can configure the email configuration here here so for this one there is a SMTP node we have to activate it here, SMTP node here. In the SMTP node here, so we have to configure the mailbox configuration, mailbox configuration. So we have to configure it here. Let me delete here. Here, initially you will get like this here. Here, SMTP mailbox configuration here, we have to enable it here, SMTP node, right? So mail communication purpose here. Here we have to enter the mailbox host name here mailbox host name so every company to receive the emails there is a mailbox mailbox email id you have to enter it here mailbox email id you have mailbox server name you have to enter it here right suppose here we don't have anything let me let me enter the google smtp.com right your port number is the 25 is the port number here so then post name so internet so what are the addresses you should you should, you should send the email id here if you maintain the star all email ids you should receive the e, uh, uh, address area means if you send the star all the email address should receive the emails otherwise just if you star dot gmail dot com then only gmail ids you should receive the emails here just if you maintain the star all will be received all persons should receive the emails from here so with pdf html everything right so then continue so there is a job there is a job should receive it here which will there every five minutes the job will will run it will send the data to the your respective target email ids here so that type of configuration is called the scott configuration here so that type of configuration is called the Scott configuration here. So that Scott configuration here, we will do it in the, the Scott configuration, we will do it in the, in the, the Scott configuration, we will do it in the Scott transaction code, which means email configurations, email configuration, we will perform it here. Email configuration, we will perform it here, right? Email configuration, we will perform from here. That is called the Scott configuration. That is called the Scott configuration, email configuration. So that is available here. So once so this is a one time setup here. If you configure one time, all the receivers, all the email IDs, whatever you configure here, they will get the they will get the, the uh, email attachments here. So that type of configurations we have to perform in the Scott here. So then that is fine. But where can you monitor? Where can we monitor the, where can we monitor the, whether that person, the mail is went successful or not here. So there is a SOST. SOST is the transaction code. Scott is for the email box configuration and everything here. Here in the SOST, 
here we can check the how many are transferred and how many are failed here we can monitor it here how many are failed how many are transferred here we can we can check it out here that is called the sost here sost here here we can check the status so suppose suppose example scott is for the email configurations and everything outbound email configuration outbound email configuration okay then sost to monitor the status of the messages right mails mails are emails or whatever it may be right then sbwp this is the sap business workspace sap business workspace here in the sbwp we can send the we can check the status here sbwp here sap business workspace here here you can check the your inbox how many outbox how many so all those things we can check it out here suppose you want to send the one message to the your friend here so then we can just send the document title text write something here then recipients who is the recipients here suppose like i want to send the to the this email id here okay i want to send it to the this email id so this is like which email id this is the internet address internet email address right yes so this is the cc so bcc something like that here then you can send it here just to send then you can send the emails you can send the emails here but this email id state as you send the message to some attachment or something you send to them there you can monitor here in the sost you can see it here whether that is failed or not here see here now we got one send request here it is waiting it is waiting to the send it is waiting for the send here here to send this emails and everything here there is a one job that is called the sap connect job sap connect job which is the responsible for sap connect job which is responsible to send the data which is responsible to send the uh, stuck messages to the your email address here so this is the sap connect job here so this is the responsible in previously we have scheduled this will run every 10 minutes once so now you want to send it right click and repeat the scheduling here immediate so then it will run immediately the job will be completed So job is released so but it's a delay there is a delay why because so we don't have enough background process or something so it is waiting for the delay so it's getting delay here so it is delay it is getting delayed here so it's waiting so it's waiting waiting for delay so as soon as that job completed how many emails are stuck here so but the it got sent see here express document cannot send received by the author so which means so it got failed see here that's internal error why because we don't have any email a mailbox server something like this here cannot send to the message in the sap system means it cannot send it to the this respective receiver receiver recipient is not able to send to the respective receiver here because of so in the scott whatever we configured here in the scott so there is no mailbox server here just dummy server we have given so if it is the correct correct server here correct mailbox server then in our email box we will receive the emails in our email box we will receive the emails to the our receiver we will send we will get the emails to the our receiver here this is the mail server sap connect mail server here sap connect mail server here this is the one okay so this is the one here so this will send the mails to the your recipients your recipients this will send the mails to the your recipients here so this is the one here okay so that is the one thing here we should know here so here 
to get the emails when you are doing the configuration the job will be scheduled automatically that is called the sap connect job sap connect job is responsible for connect job is responsible for is responsible for send the outbound emails outbound emails outbound emails here this one you should remember mails are not going means so first of all you should know this job is responsible to get the send the emails so if this is not running mails will not go so where can we monitor whether mails are going or not means in the scott transaction code here we can monitor here we can check we can configuration we can perform it here but for monitoring sost here we can monitor it here so this is a business workspace which means we can also same in the, if you open the gmail id we have the inbox outbounds something like that right here also you have the inbox outbox so something like that you have the mails here right so you will get the something like that here so document cannot send here the document got stuck here so like that we can send the emails like that we can send the emails to the respective system here distribution list appointment calendar so find the document so appointments so we can everything we can set from the sbwp sap business workspace sap business workspace here so here we can monitor the all the documents and everything here right this is the one thing here small concept this four transaction codes got it any any questions anyone Yes, sir. But uh, when the new people joins, how we need to add the mails and everything? No, no. That's why that's why you are you are you are adding here in the Scott. You are not adding individual email IDs here. So if the new people joins, just double click it here, then go to the here set here. I can add the email ID. Okay. So that's why a few people they will so they will they will restrict instead of sending to the wider wide. What they will do? they will give the star.gmail.com so every company when you go to the so email and first name that's fine but star dot my company.com which means every day everyone so my company.com is common right all the gmail it is that dot gmail.com it gmail.com is common right so that is the one here are the gmail.com will come here star means all so it's all so you don't need to explicitly set the all the email address here just to give the star everyone should receive the emails here so but to some people some companies they won't don't want to send it to the external email only their company email id is only that time you can just put the your company.com something like that okay yeah. yeah here we can configure the domains domains country codes domains everything we can configure it here this is the configuration send the text email send the send email so alerts trace routing test all those things monitor here the main thing is so the person should receive the email the first thing the smtp node should be active here node should be active means it should come to the here it should be in use status it should be configured then mails are mails should be received here sometimes we may receive the request saying that emails are not coming from the sap it got stuck in the sap when you check it out here here you are maintained the in the internet you are maintained the you are not maintained the star here you are only gmail id you maintained but that person email address is called the star dot so my company dot com my company dot com he maintained so definitely the emails will not go here definitely the emails will not go here whatever the email of the emails you have maintained here in the internet only that emails will go that emails will go to the respective systems here that emails will go to the respective systems here so that is the one thing here okay so that is the one thing here in real time they use a star or some dot com or like that they will use it sir yeah yeah suppose you are working for xyz company Client yeah. client is the X Y Z. Then here X Y Z dot com or X Y Z co dot in X Y Z co dot government dot in whatever the domain names we have right like that. So they will depends upon the company needs. So some invoices, monthly bills. So 
so something they will generate they will send to the, their emails so something like that right so that's why here we will use it here suppose when our appraisal letter released we all receive the appraisers right anyone yes, is sending sir. to gmail to our email id no right the system generated so which means as soon as so done thing is generated your your this node is active then you will receive the emails here so where can i monitor means whether sometimes the people so some people they will not receive then if you inform them they will resend they will select they will sell they will they will select then they will resend the messages here again they will resend the messages here they will they, they will resend the messages to the uh, so your email receiver email id but here you are receiving means at gmail.com should be exist in the in the here in the in the scott transaction code your gmail should be exist in the so that is the main. sir uh, if we want to send it only to particular team not all so can we add the dl yeah yeah dl also we can add it whatever you want we can add so dl also at the rate of dot com right so that is also yes. we can add it here okay sir that is also we can add so was that new team member added to the, to that dl automatically that person will be added yeah automatically we don't need to explicitly do anything mm. okay. okay sir okay so this is a small concept here so one time configuration the scott configuration is the one time scott one time configuration so just one time configuration one time if you set up it it will be available in the lifelong so you no need to every day you need to change it here until your mailbox server is not working or something that time so you may have to change the mailbox server here so that time you have to come to the here you need to change it okay just a small small transaction